Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, we successfully complete our about portion and also we successfully complete our about page. Right now, all the data is totally dynamic. It comes from our database table, which is totally fine. In this video, I want to discuss about that image portion. Like here, there is the multiple image. You can see there is the three and then six, seven images. So I don't want to upload all that images individually. Here, I want to upload it at a time. So that means how can I upload that multiple image at a time in this video i will show you that things with a live example let's do that work for doing this we have to do we have to create another table okay so i want to do i want to go to our project so into this project that is our main directory into this directory the procedure will be just like that same here i want to create another model for the multi image i make it as a php artisan and then make model and i want to create another model name as a multi okay multi and the image i name it as a multi image and also at a time i want to create another migration table now if you click as enter now it will be created two of this file it will be created one of the model and also it will be created one of the migration table which is totally fine both of these is created successfully and now if you go to our um, project into this project right now i don't need this better i want to do and to close everything okay there is a main master i close it and then about about and header this home header i simply remove it okay and now if you go to our models so here you can see now there is a new model is created as a multi image and also it's created another migration table and that is our migration table so into this migration table i only want to do i want to take one field better from our about i want to do and to take one of the new field and after that i want to paste it so that will be one of the id and then i want to create another field as a multi image okay i name it as a multi multi underscore image okay i name it as a multi image so that type of one of the field that will be created and also i make it as a nonable that's all okay and now we have to also um, fillable it in our model so into this model if you want to make it as a all field i have already discussed about that things with you that will be as a protected guarded and then you can also use it okay so right now i hope it's very much clear to you i want to make it as a protected guarded okay protected guard now all that field is fillable which is totally fine i simply click as a save all and i updated our migration table right now there is only one field as a multi image and that will be on the string type now we have to do we have to migrate it i want to simply migrate so i want to do i want to make it as a php artisan and migrate because so that will be as a php artisan migrate click as enter now you can see our database is successfully created if you now go to our database into this database right now go to our main database as a website now that is a new field available as a multi images okay here there is only one field as a multi image like here first of all i want to do and to insert one of the multi image data okay for doing this in our backend that means in our sidebar right now we don't need this i close it and also i close it in our sidebar that is our about page right after that about page now i want to create another new menu i copy it so that is in our back end about page right that is our back end uh, sidebar in this back end sidebar i want to make it as about and multi image okay i name it as about multi image because this part actually is for about and that is our about multi image okay so for education purpose i'm using that about multi image and also now we have to create one of the route for this i may name it as a about multi okay that will be as a multi and then image i name it as a about multi image great now we have to create that route if you go to our web into this web right now that is our about portion so here better i want to do to create it i copy it and then i want to paste it so that will be another name i name it as a about multi image right i copy it that will be the about multi image i name it as a about multi image or url i name it as a about and then multi okay about multi and then image great and also i want to create another new method as a about about multi okay multi image so this type of one of the method now i want to create in our about controller 
now go to our about controller so there is our about controller here after home about okay here i want to do i want to create a new one that will be the public and then function and our method name will be about multi image so in particular that a method area i only want to do i want to load one of the page okay because i want to add one of the form for this for upload that multi images so simply i name it as a return i return one of the view page in our admin into this admin area i want to create another new folder as a about and into this about area i want to load um, if you go to our admin sorry if you go to that admin into this admin now that is about page okay i before i have already created on the about page but here i want to do want to do this work so that will be the about underscore page and into this about page i want to create another new file as a multi image okay multi image perfect so that's all we have to do for now i want to in our about page that is our about page i want to create another new file as a multi image okay i copy it in our about page i want to create another new file click as a save as i simply click as a save as that will be as a multi image dot blade dot php okay so that will be our view page so friend that will be just like our about page all uh, if you go to our about page for the about page i have already created one of the form right if you go to our about page you can see that will be one of the simple form i only need one of the image portion okay rest of this i will delete better i want to do i want to copy everything from our about page i copy it and now in our um, multi image here i paste it okay so right now only one field will be needed and also we need that one of the form and now i want to remove our title i want to remove that short title input hidden field also will be not needed description we don't need this long description also we don't need this okay only that our image portion will be enough i make it as a about multi image okay that will be as a multi i make it as a multi okay multi image so that will be our about multi image and here i have already named it uh, if you go to our database our field name as a multi image is very easy actually so now i name it as a multi image great and for the multi image so i don't have any data right now i only want to to display that our default image so if you want to do this work right now i remove total our function okay i simply remove it so only that url will be enough that means here it will be load our default no image okay and then that will be as a add multi image i want to update our button name as a add multi multi image i name it as a add multi image great so friend that's all okay that's all for this page now let's check this out if you know that will be about page not that about page i want to change it it will be as a about multi image okay or add multi image you name it as a add add and then multi image add multi that will be the multi image i make it as a add multi image now let's check this out if you now click as a save all and now go there and and i want to do and to refresh it i refresh this page now you can see there's another menu is available as a about multi image if you click as a about multi image here you can see right now there is a add multi image that is only one field and by default it's display as a no image if you select any image like i select it here image is successfully uploaded uploaded and also we want to put some of the gap in here after that i want to take one of the bracket so that will be the bracket also i want to take another one now click the save all now if you go refresh it yeah you can see right now there is some of the gap perfect so right now friend i want to do from to this position when you see, right now you can you cannot able to select that multiple image you can see when you're pressing the control you can see it's not a selected multiple one so right now from here i want to upload some of the multiple image i want to store this data in our database table okay how you can do this work but i want to continue this process in our next video i will show you that things with the live example so thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video